our next stop. Well, when do we have to be there by? Uh, according to you, by morning. And we're real by morning. But in actuality, I think we're going to be there in about an hour. Well, that's by morning, right? And hopefully we need to be in for by morning. Uh, basically, we're on a quest to uh, find a decent handle for this axe and then get it over to the right person to handle it. And uh, we haven't had much luck finding the handle so far, but uh, we'll get there. We'll find one. I, I have a feeling about this. We're gonna make some mixed drinks. Seriously, don't drink this. Jeez Louise, spin around and look at this. It just got pretty. This is so much cooler through girls' sunglasses. I was about to say, I think those glasses are a point of interest. <laughs> we're at the top of Colorado, and we're about to pop into Wyoming. And we're pretty much gonna skate all the way across Wyoming into Utah, and just catch the edge of Utah before we hit Idaho. And then all the way through Idaho to Oregon, and then halfway through Oregon to Portland. So. Oh. We still have quite a ways to go. I think the total trip was like 2,100 miles or something. Each way. Each way, yeah. So it's like 4,200 miles. That's a long way. Let's try this again. It's just so sad. All they had to do was turn the wood that way. Let's try another one. What do you say? Okay, I think I got it. I got two handles. Both very straight grain. I'm very happy about that. No run out. We don't have straight vertical grain orientation, but we have a little over maybe a 45 degree angle. So I'm okay with that. That'll work. These will work. <sighs> Took long enough. And then I met this guy. He's an axe junkie, just like all of us. And he happened to have an extra handle laying around that uh, he wanted to donate to this project. So now we have a head and we have a handle. And now it's time to hand it over to the original Axe Junkie. Okay, well, I guess I've kept you waiting long enough. Um, Cody with Wrangler Star, he's gonna be taking care of putting the handle on this axe for you. Someone's gonna be lucky. If I don't keep it. Yeah, what do you think about it? I think it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So I'll hang this and congratulations for your first 100 subscribers. Thank you, I appreciate it. And so um, you want me to put my, should I put my, Yes, with my, my name on it there? I think okay. so. Okay, so I'm going to hang this and cont I'll contour and clean all this up, change it to my own liking here, and uh, I'll send it back to you and you can do a giveaway. Alright. And then I guess, you know, since I've got it on, you're really good at this. Thank <laughs> you. That is an exquisite polish. Take a look at this one. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Where'd you get this handle? Um, that handle I bought at a uh, hardware store. In a small town in Texas. Good friend. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. So, where did you, how did you come up with that? Was that nice? Did you? I just kind of, I had a tool that I figured would get that done, and I saw a video of a kid who was flint napping, and I said, hmm, oh, I can yeah, use text. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And so, what are you doing to put this mirror polish on there? Uh, we start with sandpaper at probably 80 grit to remove any of the, the larger imperfections, and take it all the way up to 5,000 with the sandpaper, and then I buff it off on a polishing bed. That's pretty well. Doesn't hurt to be an auto body guy, does it? It does not. That's that's exactly what some of the other subscribers yeah. said. Yeah, it's a little easier if you do body work. It looks good for the back. Yeah, yeah that's too. really nice. Oh, that's, that's, looks that's, like nickel. That's very handsome. The next one we're going to do, I think I'm going to do copper plating on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and copper plate it. But this, you can see how wide that is. Yeah. I think more of like a fireplace chopper, you know? Yep. So, that's beautiful. Yeah, nice job. All right. Thanks, sir. Appreciate what, it. Where did I get mine? Uh, what do you want it? How do you want it? We gotta, we gotta pick one. Sorry to keep you waiting on this, but hopefully it was worth it. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where we'll announce the winner of this beautiful axe. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.